So welcome to this yearly Peace Matter Festival. Uh, I called it Smatter as a nod to the jazz musician and composer Kenny Wheeler. And at our, the first uh, concert the CWP did, uh, we did a tribute to Kenny Wheeler. And Smatter, the definition of Smatter is a little bit of everything. So I'm really excited about the music that's going to be performed for you tonight. Um, before we get started, oh, actually, if you want, if you scan the QR code that was at the ticket booth, um, we'll take you to a link to the program so that you can follow along that way. Um, and I'm just going to do a quick intro of myself. My name is Jax, my pronouns are they, them. I'm a white settler on stolen land in Wilkinses, Treaty 7. I'm descended from Irish Scottish settler colonists. I grew up in Treaty 13, which is the traditional and ancestral territory of many peoples, including the Mississaugas of the Credit the Anishinaabe, and the Chippewa. And I'd just like to take a moment to recognize my own privilege and just being able to put on an event like this and to have local compositions be performed at um, this kind of event. Um, and I'd just like to say, sorry, I'm a bit nervous. Um, I'd just like to say a little bit about uh, why I decided to found Calgary Without Paper at the Artist Collective. It was inspired by the jazz drummer and activist Terry Lynn Carrington. In 2018, she launched the Berkeley Institute of Jazz and Gender Justice, whose vision is the pursuit of jazz without patriarchy. And in making a long-lasting cultural shift in jazz and other music communities, recognized the role that jazz can play in the larger struggle for gender and racial justice. In 2020, the CWP was founded with this, sorry, with a similar vision to recognize the role that composition could play in the larger struggle for anti-oppression. So um, before I introduce our MC for the evening, I would just like to thank uh, Michelle Robinson, Deaf Wonder Woman, for waking me up to my role as a uh, settler and the work I need to do towards decolonization. So thank you, Michelle. Thank you. <laughs> um, and actually, on that same QR code is a link to Michelle's podcast, Native Calgarian. So you're welcome to look that up too. I hope you will. Um, so I'm just gonna introduce our MC for the evening, and then they will introduce Michelle. <laughs> so Audrey Lane Pocket is a spoken word poet, artistic director, soundscape artist, and film producer based in Treaty 7 land. Their work is rooted in wild, both outside and in. Through their work in education, film, soundscape, and poetry, they are a passionate advocate for mental health awareness, social equality, love, and care for the natural world. She also runs an Indigenous book club, supports the Reconciliation Action Group, and is now a homeschool mother. So welcome, please, everyone give a warm hand. Boy, what an honor to be here. Thank you all for having me. Thank you, Jax, for asking me to come. First and foremost, you know, I, this is one of those wonderful um, events that is like an intersectional one. And I think the most important thing that you can always do is acknowledge your privilege. And as a straight, cis, able-bodied person, I think it's really important to acknowledge those things. And when I say able-bodied, maybe I should say temporarily able-bodied, because if there's one thing that COVID taught me, it was definitely that if you're temporarily able-bodied at times, so I want to start by doing that to acknowledge that, especially with uh, pride coming up. I think that 
Just the color, the symbology of the symbol is important to acknowledge all the intersections. So while I might be an indigenous woman on stolen land, I am still, I still have some privileges I can work on. And language is obviously the key component of that. I'm really lucky to be here to talk about land acknowledgement. I normally read my script, but I think today I've had enough experiences by folks to realize maybe my message needs to include a little more than just the land acknowledgement. Um, I just recently came across an issue of an elder not getting paid, and I thought, it's 2022. How are we still doing this education? Obviously, this organization respects all the artist time, all the folks that come here, and I'm grateful to that. But that's the type of settler work that people are doing, and that's really important. And for a lot of major organizations, they're still not there. So one of the messages I wanted to send to the audience is as you set up your September to December schedules and you're making sure you get your martial arts in and your band and all of the extracurricular things, I want to invite you to either the Reconciliation Action Group, the Settler Book Club, or the book club that I run. Because we have to start working on anti-racism, Indigenous education, and then moving it into our schools, our clubs, our sports clubs. Every aspect of everything needs to include anti-racism training and Indigenous education. So then 2022, Indigenous folks are not telling people you need to pay your elders because we're still having to do that. That was my job today. So as a Satu Dene, that means I wasn't actually born here. I am also considered a visitor to this area. I'm an economic refugee thanks to all the stolen land and colonialism that continues here in Canada. So while I was born here, my people are actually from further north, even more north than Yellowknife. So I'm struggling in this heat. <laughs> I try, but it's not in my blood to be in 30 degree weather, not my blood. So I'm struggling, but I wanted to acknowledge the Plains people who really don't struggle and Sundance in this. And the Sundance is no water, no food, strenuous activity in this heat. That's the land that you're on right now. And yet we're in a nice air conditioned like place. And, and these are the things that are new here. We talk about climate change, indigenous peoples, are the reason why we never had climate change. And then colonialism changed everything. Now we have climate change. So as you work on your uh, September to December work and you're working on climate change, if you don't have indigenous voices leading, you're not working on climate change, you're working on colonialism. So please consider these things as you do this work. And with that, I'd like to acknowledge the Treaty 7 that are here. So this symbol is actually for the Sutina. This one, the Gainai, Siksika, Pagani, and the Stoney. They were the ones who signed Treaty 7. I acknowledge all First Nation, Métis, Inuit status and non-status across Turtle Island as the keepers of these lands. And I hope you consider your role as a treaty partner, as the government signed on your behalf. And I hope you consider your role in reconciliation this is a Canadian issue, not an Indigenous one. So I hope we work on it together and I say thank you for having me here to acknowledge that the land we're all privileged to be on right now. Masi Cho. I'm really, really looking forward to our opening music set uh, with Generation Z who is a youth chamber ensemble working with the CWP under the direction of Jax Walker. Generation Z includes Julia Brady on jazz guitar, Flynn Joan Theris on cello, Chelsea Ashton on vocals, and Ethan Shi on piano and composition. Thank you for the warm welcome, Audrey. Um, so the piece that you're about to hear is a medley of some of my favorite tracks from Kiki's Delivery Service, which is a movie that's really dear to my heart. 
Um, whenever I listen to the music from this movie, I'm always filled with joy and comfort. So I hope that you feel the same thing when listening to this medley. I wouldn't be able to introduce this piece without thanking Jax for giving me the confidence to put together this arrangement and the rest of Generations for bringing it to life in a beautiful way. Um, so thank you. Um, I hope you enjoy listening to this to this piece and we're excited to share it with you.
Hilario Duran, Tim Tamashiro, and the Calgary Philharmonic Orchestra, just to name a few. Uh, yes, give it up. Give it up. percussionist driven by the vivid and vast world of contemporary music. Whether as a soloist or a chamber musician, as a teaching artist, she is dedicated to education through performance and instruction, leading by example and questioning audience expectations by asking, what exactly is percussion? Mia is an instructor. No one knows what exactly is. <laughs> we're, we're about to have our world open tonight, so that's good. Uh, Mia is an instructor at the Mount Royal Conservatory and is an active educator and clinician in Calgary. She completed a Master of Music at the University of Calgary. Give it up for Mia. Jeremy Brown, who is a history now this paper because there's so many accolades of all of these members of this collective that I take so many pieces of paper to put them. Uh, Jeremy Brown is a renowned Canadian saxophonist, flutist, woodwind. Is it flautist? Did I do that wrong? Okay, thank you. Saxophonist, flautist, woodwind doubler, teacher, author, composer, and conductor. He is a professor of music and the former head of music. Uh, head of the music department at the University of Calgary, 1990 to present. He has been both an artist in residence and a visiting lecturer at the Banff Center. He was an invited he was invited as saxophone soloist with the National Youth Band of Canada in 2015, and again as conductor and artistic director in 2017. An unprecedented double invitation. Regarded as an unusually versatile musician, he currently performs as a woodwind doubler in a professional theater, directs and performs with jazz ensembles like this one, conducts a semi-professional wind band, and has his own new music ensembles and small jazz groups. He is also an improviser of both free music and jazz, and is a composer in an eclectic mix of styles. Give it up for Jerry. <laughs> This, uh, thanks, thanks so much. This piece uh, was written in Banff uh, last November. I was there for a few weeks in a residency uh, where most of my fellow uh, students up there could have been my grandchildren, but uh, that was okay. They were really refreshing and kept me uh, honest. Um, so it's an eclectic piece. It, it doesn't follow any typical kind of form. It's a 10, 10 bar opening uh, with kind of a bridge ABC. And um, so it's just uncontrolled. <laughs> one, two, I want one. Thank you. 
Sargent, who is one half of the duo, Sargent and Conrad, which infuses jazz, soul, funk, dance hall, hip hop, as well as other genres into a unique sound that combines the old with the new. Sargent's rich vocals take center stage, while Conrad's production takes you on a multi-layered, genre-bending journey from beginning to end. After a successful first release, Magic Radio, Breakout West, Breakout Artist of the Year Award, YYC Soul, R&B Recording of the Year Award, Polaris Prize Longlisted, Sargent and Conrad are back with another full-length LP, The Elephant in the Room. Please welcome to the stage, Yolanda Sargent. Thank <laughs> you. 
um, and saw our first album, Magic Radio. Uh, when I first wrote the song, I was doing just like a lot of thinking just about life in general. And I kind of realized that like, if you're not at peace with yourself, you're always gonna have like a problem with like the world around you. So if you can't see the beauty in yourself, like you won't be able to find the beauty in others. And like love, like the highest degree of love is self-love because uh, it's part of like that collective consciousness that brings us together as human beings. And I kind of just wanted to showcase like that feeling when you feel that, like and you just look around and everything just has like that flow and it's just magical. <laughs> Thank you. 
just the sound of this melody will remain a mystery.
that's a lot of a lot of talent happening tonight. Um, is, is, is it intermission time? It's intermission time. So we have five to seven minutes right now uh, for you to take some time and space and shine and go to the washroom and uh, congratulate generations and, and talk to Michelle Robinson and, and, and CWP if they have time for it. Uh, and uh, Yolanda and Jason, see you. And everyone, thank you. See you in five to seven minutes for some more beautiful, beautiful music and talented musicians accompanying with CWP. Thanks.